Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a shit one. Today, I'm going to try and take every single photo tonight on one fourth of a second or quarter of a second or however you say it. Absolutely no one asked me to do this. This is completely irrelevant information. You will never need to do this in photography. But what happens if you did? So let's go meet up with our model. Oh, it's been a while since we fucking did yeah, this, uh, isn't vlogging. it? What's vlogging? I know, yeah. let's just fix this ISO. Yeah, Liam was like, because usually we have a different camera. Actually, first of all, hello. We're hey. with our model. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't vlogged in a while, literally. It's been two weeks. Yeah, I'll plug this in. That's plugged in. Yeah. Are, we, are we good? Are we vlogging? Yeah. Are we good? Okay, sweet. Liam and I, if you don't know, have uploaded a video every single week to our channel for the past two and a half years. So we have never really had a holiday because when we yeah. go away somewhere cool, we vlog it. <laughs> we film it. No, no, it's and like working in itself. Yeah, exactly, which is still working. So we actually haven't picked up the camera and made a vlog in a while. But anyway, we're here with Zandria, with Lamont, with Liam, and we're gonna go try and take these photos. The first shot here, we're gonna try with a tram. I've set my camera to one fourth. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't done this in ages. I don't even know what the fuck to say. What's the shot? What are you getting? Yeah, she's like holding leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm dead>. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, it's a fucking waste up shot. And uh, we're just going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Good explanation. <laughs> That's the best explanation. If you're learning photography, I hope that helped you out. We're going to try a shot. You're just looking to your right. So you're facing me. Yeah, but you're looking to your right like you're looking for someone. Very, it's a bit average. <laughs> oh, so you, you have to be on the same side. Yeah, yeah. You have to be on the same side because we're on the other side of the tram tracks. We're you need to be as close as you can to the tram. Right, let's try one more. We'll go walk up a bit because the tram's going to leave. Yeah. Right. Two in one. That actually turned out pretty good. That's that's like sick oh, um, nice. bokeh. Yeah. It's like dragged bokeh. Yeah. Oh, face. that's sick. That's unedited as well. Oh, that oh. one. Oh. oh. Uh, next shot, we'll go find some chairs. There's heaps of cool chairs on this street, and we might get her like sitting on one of them, doing some like sort of street pose. I don't know what a fucking street pose is. I'm just <laughs> talking out of my ass. <laughs> oh, yo. <laughs> Oh, you gotta hold so still. Yeah. <sighs> Is it good though? Doing Call of Duty sniper. Yeah. <laughs> gotta <laughs> breathe in, you're like. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. actually oh, sick. Nice. That's nice. Dude, that shot's so like, uh, I don't know, it's not symmetrical. It's, um, everything's like very geometrically. It just looks nice. So I wouldn't actually recommend really shooting on one fourth of a second, but what I have realized using these settings is that obviously because of the stupid shutter speed that we're using it actually allows a lot of light to be led into the camera so if we're in a dark alleyway like this right now we don't need to have a lot of iso to get a shot you could obviously use a tripod for all these shots i prefer not to because i like to just sort of walk around with a tripod you like put your camera on you like move yeah. your camera head and you yeah, gotta take too tighten much it, you know what i mean it just gets fucking annoying so it's good to be able to walk around and be able to use a really slow shutter speed. Um, it's just kind of a good skill to have, I guess. Well, I think it's a good skill to have. It's a unique skill to have. Welcome to Parliament Train Station, the world's best lighting for free. So the idea for the shot is Xandria is going to be sitting on one of these steps She's gonna be going up. I'm gonna be a couple of steps behind her, basically like sort of squatting, trying to take the shot as well. But obviously at one fourth of a second, we're hoping that everything around her is gonna be blurred, um, except for her. Uh, unfortunately, to have this shot the most symmetrical, we'd really wanna be in the center one here, but that obviously isn't moving. Uh, it's not currently in use. And behind us as well, all of these ones are out of service as well, so. Yeah, we don't really have an option here. We've just got the left one or the right one. So no symmetrical shots today, but I'll see what I can do in Photoshop. All 
right. How'd you go? Is it good? Yeah, I think some of them are sick. I think the, the first shots that we tried were sick. That is the photo shoot done. Now we're gonna jump into Lightroom and potentially Photoshop and just see what we got today and just see how many of these photos are actually out of focus and we're gonna see if we actually got any in focus. Here. Um, or at least I went through and I selected the ones that were in focus. Um, let's have a look here. I didn't really like any of these first couple of ones here um, because the composition is just not that filled. The tram doesn't reach the top of the image, like what the fuck's going on up here? And also there's too much ground in the shot as well. So I didn't like any of those. And then, I mean, these ones are okay, but when we flipped over and we went and shot the other side of the tram, I think these ones turned out pretty good, like the way that the light um, reaches her face on some of these. I think it's one of these, but kind of the problem, <laughs> like, well, I mean, it was inevitable. That's the whole, um, the stupidest part about this video is that you generally wouldn't want to use that shutter speed because it's just not that stable. But look, if I'm going to be posting these photos to Instagram and I'm just trying to make like a sort of cool effect, I don't really care if they're slightly out of focus like it's only very slight i mean from a distance it looks fine these sitting shots i think actually i haven't even had a look here i think there's one that i got in focus but i really love the composition of this like the tram going past and like the way the seat looks as well but i'm pretty sure only one of them came out good whatever it's pretty cool i think with a crop in as well i think if i want to crop it to like the tram up the top here or something like that i mean from a distance it doesn't look that bad. So <laughs> we'll just go with that. And the last ones we shot here are at Parliament Station. They actually worked really well. I, I held the camera so steady. And also because I was using the wide angle, the other shots were shot with a 40 mil and that lens is really heavy. So obviously the heavier the camera, the harder it is to keep still because it's, you know, it's more weight on your hands and your wrists. So I was using the wide angle for these shots and I found it to be a lot easier to hold it still. Uh, at one fourth of a second or, or even just a lower shutter speed in general it's easier to keep still cameras are generally easier to keep still handheld at a lower shutter speed if they're lighter well, at least i find they are maybe i just need to go to the gym more maybe i'm just a weak little bitch <laughs> yeah and these ones turned out really well i tried a few different compositions when we were going up the escalators i like the front on shot i tried a few side ons oh actually i don't mind the side on no, I do like the side on. And then I, I got it a, a bit closer as well, but I don't think that really works. Yeah, these are the three final images that I really like. Again, <laughs> this photo shoot was a little bit weird. Like, obviously, I wouldn't recommend, like I said, heaps of times. Don't, don't purpose, like, I wouldn't go out, like, professionally on a shoot and do this for a client. This was just a little bit of fun um, just to see what would happen if we just used this shutter speed for a whole photo shoot. And, that, and that's what really photography is about, is just get out there and have some fun and, and play around, choose some different settings, try something you usually wouldn't. And that was the whole aim of this. When you go out and you try random shit with photography, that's how you really learn and progress. So yeah, give it a shot. I thought I, I found it pretty fun. Um, thanks to Xandra for coming out and modeling and thanks for Lamon and Liam for coming out and helping me film. Um, these photos that you see as well, the ones I edited were edited with my Lightroom presets. So if you want to download those, they're linked in my description, or you can head over to streamline.store to get yourself a set. That is the end of the video. If you did like this video, leave a like down below. Help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, have a shit one, and I will see you in the next one. Is it awkward having a camera in your face? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's my nose big, I'm very insecure. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Whose Nose Is Bigger featuring Mike and Liam. Yeah, we'll do nose to nose. Oh, I have to be <laughs> fucked.